Welcomes to Movie Recap. Today I'm going to explain mystery thriller film Old Boy. In 1988, a businessman named Oday Su is arrested for drunkenness, missing his daughter's fourth birthday. After his friend Yo Huan picks him up from the police station, Dae Su is kidnapped and wakes up in a sealed hotel room, where food is delivered through a trapdoor. Watching TV, Dae Su learns that his wife has been murdered and he is the prime suspect. He passes the time shadow boxing, planning revenge and attempting to dig a tunnel to escape. 15 years pass since he was imprisoned. It is now 2003, a new millennium. Just before digging himself to freedom, Daesu is sedated and hypnotized. He wakes up on a rooftop and sees a man on the ledge ready to jump to his death. The man asks him, even though I am no better than a beast, don't I have the right to live? Daesu leaves the man and tests his fighting skills on a group of thugs. Afterward, a mysterious beggar gives him money and a cell phone. Daesu enters a sushi restaurant where he meets Mito, a young chef. He receives a taunting phone call from his captor, collapses, and is taken in by Mito. In a frenzy, Daesu tries to force himself on Mito in the bathroom of her apartment, however, she is armed with a knife and successfully fends him off. Daesu attempts to flee the apartment, but a sympathetic and intrigued Mito confronts him. Mito explains to Daesu that she is romantically interested in him, but that they hardly know each other and she is not ready to be intimate. They reconcile and begin to form a bond. After he recovers, Daesu makes an attempt to find his daughter. Discovering that she was adopted, he gives up trying to contact her. Now focused on identifying his offenders, he locates the Chinese restaurant that made his prison food and finds the prison by following a deliveryman. It is a private prison, where people can pay to have others incarcerated. Daesu tortures the warden, Mr. Park, who reveals that Daesu was imprisoned for talking too much. He is then attacked by guards and is stabbed but manages to defeat them. Daesu's captor is revealed to be a wealthy man named Li Wujin. Wujin gives him an ultimatum. If Daesu can uncover the motive for his imprisonment within five days, Wujin will kill himself. Otherwise, he will kill Mito. Daesu and Mito get close and have sex. Meanwhile, Yohan tries to contact Daesu with important information but is murdered by Wujin. Daesu eventually recalls that he and Wujin had gone to the same high school, and he had witnessed Wujin committing incest with his own sister. He told Yohan what he had seen, which led to his classmates learning about it. Rumors spread and Wujin's sister killed herself, leading a grief stricken Wujin to seek revenge. In present day, Wujin cuts off Mr. Park's hand, causing Mr. Park and his gang to join forces with Daesu. Daesu leaves Mito with Mr. Park and sets out to face Wujin. At Wujin's penthouse, Wujin reveals that Mito is actually Daesu's daughter. Wujin had orchestrated everything by using hypnosis to guide Daesu to the restaurant arranging for them to meet and fall in love so that Daesu will experience the same pain of incest that he did. He reveals that Mr. Park is still working for him and threatens to tell the truth to Mito. Daesu apologizes for his involvement in the death of Wujin's sister and humiliates himself by imitating a dog and begging. When Wujin is unimpressed, Daesu cuts out his own tongue as a sign of penance. Wujin finally accepts Daesu's apology and tells Mr. Park to hide the truth from Mito. He then drops the device he claimed was the remote to his pacemaker and begins walking away. Daesu activates the device to kill him, only to find it is actually a remote for loudspeakers, which play an audio recording of Mito and Daesu having sex. As Daesu collapses in despair, Wujin enters the elevator, recalls his sister's suicide, and shoots himself in the head. Some time later, Daesu finds the hypnotist to erase his knowledge of Mito being his daughter so that they can stay happy together. To persuade her, he repeats the question he heard from the man on the rooftop, and the hypnotist agrees. Afterward, Mito finds Daesu lying in snow but there are no signs of the hypnotist, leaving it ambiguous if Daesu really met her. Mito confesses her love for him and the two embrace. Daesu breaks into a wide smile, which is then slowly replaced by a look of pain. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like it really helps the channel. Thank you for watching.